Okay, people. I'm back. Let's get this thing thing together, darn it. Alright, where was that? Okay, see I got all them still color coded. I'm just gonna leave them on there for now. Let's see, my receiver's going right there. I need to make another hole for them wires. Yeah. be a double hole to get them servo holes to do. Okay. Now the one that's marked right there. That was my brake. Remember that. Okay. Rod. Bill, up there in Canada, that was my break. Remember that. I'm gonna ask you later which one was the break. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm gonna get serious now. I'm gonna get this thing done. Get that bomber built. Doggone it. Love the magnetic screwdrivers. for the brakes alone and then one for the gear that way for some reason if you're out there driving around you ain't using your gear air my gear is kind of precious don't ask me where I got this um, deal here this smart multi-function valve from air power I came from Camlax Everything from these jets, everything. I mean, everything came from Camelax. They got it all, man. They got all that stuff, just like, you know, a lot of other mother places. Pretty good to deal with. Okay. See them go right up here to my where my receiver's gonna stick in. Oh, we're we're jamming. We're almost there. Okay, my propane. This is my one-way valve for my propane. I like these things right here. Okay, we'll go right there. Let 
dude up. Okay, now my propane. Starting to get look a little confusing here. This is my propane. Let's just hook it up right now. So I don't get it. You see, it's it's a bigger tube than my airlines. You guys looking over there for it. It's a bigger tube than my airline, so it's kind of hard to get them confused anyway. It goes right there. Like that. Okay, you guys keeping up with this? Might be a quiz on it. Might be a game show. <laughs> never know. You just never know. Okay, this is my header tank. This is what keeps the air out of my system, people. A lot of you jet guys know this, but you have to run these right here because that header tank always stays completely full. You put them in at that angle like there so there's very little air. That way you go upside down, anything like that, you won't end up with an air bubble in your line. One little air bubble, poop, these turbines go out. Fire goes out. We don't like the fire to go out. Man, I think I'm out of them zip ties. Oh, well, I'm going to have to get some pretty ones out, people. Oh, yeah, that was pretty. Let's, let's throw a little pizzazz in there, shall we? Man, that was awful loud. So, this goes right there. Oh, can't push on that too hard. See my fuel pump? Let me tighten that up a little bit. My fuel pump sucks fuel directly out of this. And that's what draws the fuel all the way through them tanks, them three tanks, is that fuel pump. That dude's winging it, man. Got some green kind of accents to white and this yellow. See? <laughs> okay, people, I think that's it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in. And it's ready to install. Alright, so you got to watch me put my board together. What do you think? See, it's all nice and neat. And, uh, ain't too clustered up. I can, my receiver's still plugged in. All I gotta do is slide it through that hole, put me some new Velcro down there. And, uh, bam, brand new. And, uh, we're gonna test it out again, but I found the, the culprit. It had just a little nick. And this line down here probably when I was pushing it on because I did change that one because it was too short and I think I got it with the needle nose just a little tiny nick and it just squirted fuel everywhere that stuff's under pressure man and that's a powerful little pump there we go see, see how easy that is you guys can do that it ain't that bad 